Thank you for this opportunity that we can share this wonderful journey, which is Pathfindering, Mastergate, and all AY activities. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you so much, sir, for the invitation. Now, before to start, we must stand and pray on your feet. Pray attention. Almighty Lord, Creator, Redeemer, our Maker, we want to thank you, Father, because of the blessings of life. We want to thank you, dear Lord, because you have been with us from the beginning of our life until this moment. There is a group of your children who want to commit your life unto you in this journey, which is AY, Mastergate, Pathfindering, and Adventuring. Thank you, Father, for these leaders of the church. Thank you for the leaders who have made possible this gathering, this training. And above all, thank you also for these young men who want to be trained and want to become your master gate father so they can lead your people unto your feet. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for the reigning because it's a blessing in unto our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to be in this temple. It's not my first time. How many times I have came to this, to this temple? I'm so glad to be here once again. I would like to, I would like to introduce you first a paper that I brought for you. You are not going to read, but you just keep it, and you, we are going to need it soon. Just keep it there. Don't read it yet. This is for you. That is just yes, to make much easier because to learn about the history of our church sometimes becomes boring because there is name and there are number. Name and number, name and numbers. And sometimes even we forgot the names and we forget the numbers. But something you cannot forget. You cannot forget your date of birth. You cannot forget the name of your parents. You cannot forget the name of your leaders of the church right now, the current ones. You cannot forget when was the birthday of your, of your brothers or sisters, the ones you love. You can't forget. But these things sometimes we just forget. Even me, I have forgot many of them when I was being trained. Those 1998, 1999, so very, very many years ago. So these numbers are very important for us to know because something that I want you to know, and I want you to go with it. And I want, let's say in this case, club or S, uh, SDA church members, anyone who live this kind of institution, this kind of training, or this kind of church, or this kind of clubs, anyone who live this one, it's because they don't have foundation on them. The foundation is that what happened in the past and what's happening now. That is your foundation. Whenever you have a study, I don't know what are you studying. What did you study? Accounting. Mathematics. Mathematics. Environment. Environment. You have seen basic, basic knowledge in your first year, right? In the second year, you have, or in the second semester, you have to take a little bit deeper. In the third, deeper, deeper, and, and you became a specialist. In the church and in the club, it's almost the same. You will not know what's happening now, or what has happened recently, if you don't have or we don't know the foundation of this thing. Especially the foundation from the church and foundation for the AY ministry. Anyone, I believe personally, this is not what has been researched, no. I believe whoever leaves the church, it's because they didn't or he didn't or she didn't learn the foundation of the church. How it began, how the pioneers, the people who fought to this church to come what it is now, how they have passed, how the things were done until this moment, they don't know. They just see the SDA charge, nice logo, nice building, and they think they have money, they have things. They see the pastor like, 
I say, no, how can I belong to the church? They just know the outside. They say, no, I, let me go another church, which is much better. They jump, they move, they are more, they are more active, or they do this thing, they, do, they don't do this, they are not restrictive, I can eat whatever I want, I can marry two, three people, I can go to this other church. They don't have the foundation. That's why it's easy for them to move. They got baptized because of emotion, they just, they, the Holy Spirit, they call them, they enjoy the moment, everything was nice, but when the nice things, when the, when the moment to, to, to carry on the church came, I said, no, no, I can't do this. Now, let us to enter to the matter. In the same way, in the same way, AY, AY has struggled from the beginning. In the past, Young people, they will not talk as a, if anyone young talks, only adults in the church, an earlier church. Young people, they were just yes, relegated to do, to play, and to listen. Obedient parents, that's it. Even now, they, they are not obedient to the parents. But, but in the past, it was like that. Young people, they were relegated. Only older ones, we were considered about 20, 20 25, they were considered as a, some part of members or to be something in the church. That's what we're considering. Now what we are going to learn today as the schedule for you it is, it is about the basic training for adventurer and pathfinder history. We cannot separate AY. We cannot separate AY. I repeat three times. We cannot separate AY from pathfinder Adventurer, Mastergate, SYA, Senior Youth, PCM, all those things that we are going to learn. We cannot separate them because it's part, it's unique. You cannot separate your ear from your body to study the whole body. You cannot separate your leg to study apart to be doctor of leg if you don't know what the whole body. You cannot study teeth if you don't know the whole body. You cannot study eye if you don't know the whole body. That's the way you have been trained. The, the one, the doctors who have been trained in these matters. The same way, we cannot separate because all of them are part of the AY and they are a special way to train a certain age of children. That's why it has been separated. It's not the same to train a child from three, four, five years to a young man who has 15 years. We can't separate them. AY considers all of them. Now, Look at this. I want you to see very well that. I'm sure you are aware of this organigram. You have seen in the internet, you have seen in your trainings last year. I'm sure you have seen. Uh, the Adventist Youth Ministry, it breaks down into junior youth and senior youth. And in the senior youth are involved master gate. Are we together? So as a master gate, you cannot be able to lead this other part, unless you go through this other process to learn senior youth, to become leader of SYL, now you can train all these activities. Sometimes we don't mind, and you are master gate, I'm going to be a parenthesis there, you're able to do everything. You are master gate, even you are a pastor, even you are a security guard from the church, you are a deacon, you can be an elder, as long as you are master gate, you master guide, sorry, you do that. Is it that so? That's what they do or not? Am I lying? I have seen master gate, master guides being security guard from the churches. I have seen master guides to be the elders because it's a master guide, not because it's an elder elected. He enters to the I have seen it. So Master guide, it has, an, has received a special training. We will talk later. Who is a master guide? For you, why, who is a master guide? It's the leader of the Adventist youth. Yeah, leader of? Adventist youth. Leader of Adventist youth. What is a master guide, sir? Okay, for me, master guide is someone that's a twin and have like a lead to guide another people, like the youths. Yeah. 
They can they 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 train they have been trained and lead to the youth. Uh, I think a master guide is someone through which young people can rely on. Young people could learn. all of them are correct, but what could be the best definition to be a master guide? Who is a master guide? Master guide is a leader, first of all. First, master guide has been received a special train to lead. Hello? Adventurers and pathfinders. They are young ones, yes, but this one has an age from which year? From four to nine years old. Pathfinders from 10 to 15. So that is the range a master guide leads. Master guide also can be trained to lead ambassadors can lead senior youth and can lead, obviously, be part church, church member, be, be deacon, be anything they want if they are elected. But master guide, let me tell you, is not a security guard from the church. It's not a general with many honors or things they put on. I don't know whether I have a copy here. not a security guard from the church. It's not a general, it's not somebody with a rank and command anybody. It's not. Our task or the task of a master guide is to train these young people. This one, that is the focus. Above anything. Then there is another way, this one, there are two more trainings that receive so they can train other master guides. Which is not here. But master guide can also train another master guide but has to have a level of training. There is a PLA, an advanced PLA, or P PIA. So Pathfinder, sorry, Pathfinder Award Leadership. So those ones are superior training, which one they make clubs and they train special master guides. Any master guide can train, but needs to receive a training to train master guides. So, this is a master guide. Now, my question was, I asked you earlier, now I'm, I'm sure you have, you have, uh, you have uh, already thinking the answer. Why do you want to become a master guide? Just simple, why do you want to become a master guide? I want to become a master guide so that I could contribute to the education of the youth in the church. Yes, exactly. It's to have more skills that can enable me to guides and uh, yeah, leads youths in the church. For me, I want to become a master guy because I want to lead all those young people to Jesus, to be a leader for them. Correct. Amen for that. So this is, as the, as the name says, master guide. It is a guide which leads young people between this age to the other one. If you want to lead these people from there, we study this one, SYL leader, senior youth leader, owner. It's different, doesn't have to do anything with emblems, nothing like that. It leads for some other thing else. So the, the training for this one is different and lead any young people from 18 and above. They lead them, that is why. Now, if you want to lead adventurers, and pathfinders, this is what you are here. That's why you are here. The other young ones are in a different way. So if you want to make the master guides, yes. Master guide, you are good here. Let us move on. Check your papers, the one I gave you now. You check the papers. You see numbers there? Many numbers. Number one. 
1922. You see many, num many numbers there, right? L let me tell you something. We'll continue the day later very well. The history of the church, it is the same as the history of, of AY. It's the same history. It didn't become just at once, okay, from today, we are going to be a senior youth or, or, or youth uh, ministry, and from this time, we are going to, no, no, no. It was just coming slowly by slowly until it came the idea to become the AY ministry. The church has the same starting whenever you, you remember 1844, right? You remember 1844. But when, when 1844 happened, the great disappointment, there were many things that happened before 1844. Even young people, they were involved, but they, they didn't listen much to them. After that, 1844, the people understood why this happened, why the great disappointment why the leaders, they fail. So all those histories, all those moments that happened contributed that the church, now we know as SDA church, in which year? 18? 1863. Has been formed officially in Battle Creek. You remember? Has been formed officially as the SDA church. So... I will never forget that one because it's in my birthday, 21st May. That's what I can forget. Other numbers I can forget. But this is 21st May, 1863, that has been formed the SDA church. But what about, but before that one, they were training. But what about AY? When do you think has been formed? We are going to reach there. The numbers that you see there before, the numbers, yes, when it says now here, 1907, missionary... Voluntary service was organized. Missionary, there was not a why those moments. They, yes, they have seen the, the need of the people to reach out. That's what we call missionary. To reach out, to reach other young ones. Let us go there. Let us to see how can we give them. They start forming this missionary youth group. Which year? You will not forget. You will forget, but that's to remind you. You have to remember, 1907. Then 1908, what happened? Whenever this uh, organization happened, they said, we have to train them, but how can we train them? We need to make something, some magazines, some papers. We have to make something for them so we can give them, they can read, and also we can read, and they can know the knowledge what we are going to transmit them. So that's why these, these years are important because they were organizing in this way. Another, another, another year here which is important, 1911. MB, what is it? Lifted, series has begun. 1922, GM, GMB now, which is AGY, progressive class has been introduced, friend and companion. So all these things happen in the past. So the AY could start coming up slowly by slowly until one day, that we are going to reach later, one day this youth ministry was being formed. We cannot reach to this level because just three years ago it was different. You remember? It was not like that. There was, not, there was missing some of this one. There was on top of this one, and below this one, there were just only master guide and nothing else. There was not a leading of SYL. There was another name there. But now this is the current one, junior and senior youth. This is the current one so far from the general conference that we are using it. Let's move on. As we were telling, why we have to learn these things? Why we have to learn the history? As I told you from the beginning, the foundation. Train a child in the way so, he should, what happened? And when he is old, he will not turn from it. That's what we can find in the Bible, Proverbs 22.6. What about this one? Under philosophy, we have to be. 
Finally, brothers, this is where it came. The, the first books that they were written there to spread to the world, to spread to other to be missionaries there in the in United States. Whereas these verses, they, they were just lying, they lying on these verses. What it says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. That's what young people were doing. This is another one, Philippians 4.8. You will not, this one you can't forget. This is a memory verse that a master gate must have all the time in their life. So, but finding is fundamentally the principles and experience best in training so that young people can more easily transfer their learning to other areas of life. This is the honors, everything that we do. Now, you have in your papers these ones, right? You have in your papers. You don't have to write much this. You have, I, I provide you in the papers how the, the missionary voluntary service society organized started the GMB you know you, you have to know the what was this one GMB what's the meaning of GMB youth missionary volunteer right the young ones the young ones they are there juniors now the first conference sponsored Pathfinder Club in Riverside California that was 1946 we have another number here 1940 1949 Hensiberg writes Pathfinder song. This is important you to know as a master guide. Because we have a wise song. We have adventurous song. Do we have a master guide song? Do we have a master guide song? They were trying to write, but there is no officially a master guide song. We rely because there was not adventure in that moment. There was not yet Pathfinder. And this is the guy who wrote the Pathfinder song. That's the year. 1949, Hensi Berg. Let me give a parenthesis here. There's many ways how to, how to tell a story. Depends how you live and from where the person comes. I'm coming from South America. So I know the history in a different way because that's what I've been taught. But also I read a little bit from the histories, other part, how it happened, what really happened. But one of the pastors who, who trained me told me something very important. You know, in the United States, they were really looking how to train the young people. And there was a pastor who have seen it, how the others are trained outside. Because normally say we have to be unique. We don't have to learn from outside. We have to produce our own. That belief was there. But somebody has seen it from outside. They have seen to who? The Boy Scouts. Have you heard that one? You know what's Boy Scouts, right? Boys. So the Boy Scouts, they came. And that is so interesting how they train. Boy Scouts are, are, a, are a farce before us. So the, how they train. And he learned. He has been trained on those Boy Scouts. That's what he introduced to the church. How else we can learn in the same way? The scarves, the uniforms, all those emblems, they got it from somewhere. But this one are more Christ center. That is the difference with the Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts, they learn things from the world, how to do in the nature. How, but us, we do the same thing, but Christ center. That's the difference. If somebody will tell you, in the, they will say, told me, ah, you are like a Boy, boy Scout. I said, no, we are not like a Boy Scout. We are not. You are a Boy Scout? No, we are not. But the people, if you are in the airport, they used to ask me, why are you carrying all these things? They used to take my, check my uniform or many other things I used to bring. It, it said we are from the uh, Pathfinder Club. We are a master again. I try to explain. They don't know. Sometimes they don't know many. But if I tell you, it's the same as a, as a Boy Scouts. Ah, they know. That's the way. Because Boy Scouts are well known in the whole world. Right? But Master Gates and Pathfindering, it's also well recognized now. The last time I was in another country, I am asked, ah, you are SDA. When they say I'm a master, ah, you are SDA. They are related, which I'm so glad. In the past, it wasn't like that. I'm telling you, 15, 18 years ago, they were not very well known. But now, things have changed. First, but find a fair. Do you do fair here at, uh, in, the, in your clubs? I'm sure you belong to any club, right? You belong to a club, bilingual club. And that one, I have to tell you, a master guide. 
I don't know where you have been told. Who doesn't belong a club is not a master guy. Are we together? A master guy, if somebody, I'm a master guy. Yes, comes only when they call for uh, meetings and they have some training. Oh, sorry, not training. Some hiking, some, um, what do you call, camping. They just appear, I'm a master guy. Without training child, that's not a master guy. That is not a master guy. I absolutely am um, against that. Whoever, ever, anything who has been invested, a master guy with a scarf, and it comes only whenever there is camping, only whenever there is an activity, that is not a master guide. Master guide is the one who trains child and takes to the company, to the hiking, to the activities, but is the one. And I'm sure you are going to be trained to do that. I'm sure, I'm 100% sure, because you are passing all these courses and above. So this is what happened now in 1950. There were activity in the clubs. This is the name of the clubs they have formed that time. In the Pacific Union Conference prepares the first drill manual in the earliest 1950. Here in Rwanda, we are very well known for drills. And they do nicely. They, 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 they drill what they do. It's, I, I was amazed when I was attending the 100 years of the SDA charts here. That one was how many years ago? Five years ago or something like that, right? In the, in the Amahoro Stadium. Whenever it was Amahoro Stadium, now it will become another name. I don't know. We went there. I have seen hundreds of, um, what do you call, ambassadors. Hundreds of pathfinders, hundreds of adventurers, master guides. I was so amazed. I brought my friends to see that one. It was amazing. It was amazing. How they were marching. And I have seen the marching. They do Rwanda. It's amazing. Amazing. So, now, this thing happened that you have in your papers, important. Uh, this one you are not going to forget. I'm not going to forget because this is, this is the year with when my mom brought me out of here, of this world. 19, what happened in 1979? NB changed to a, that is when AY has started. AY has started that very moment. Are we together? AY has started missionary voluntary to Adventist youth. That is normally, they will not forget that one, but is that, that is the question from the exam. If they will ask you for exam, this one is always there. Which year the, uh, the, the youth, the mission voluntaries became as a AY? 1979. I can't forget because it's the day I born, the, the year I born. And you know, 21st May is where it has been created, 21st May, 1863. There has been created the church. Now, in 1979, has been created the AY. So those years, I will not forget. You can have some something memories on that as well. So we have another one. GM, G, no, JMV changes to now what it is. Adventist Junior Youth. Junior Missionary Volunteers to Adventist Junior Youth. You see now? That's what we have now. Another, another year important there. There are many in your papers, but what I highlighted here is what normally enters in the exams. That's normally the ask in the exams. If you are going to have an exam, this is surely is going to be there. In 1982, new Pathfinders World is in place to Pathfinders World is in place to MB World. Boyer class added at age of 14. Now, because in the past, there were just only two classes. Then they started four classes. Then this year was, was added Boyeja class, the age of 14, or great name. Also, in between ranger and guide, right? So that's when it has added the Boyeja. Now, the uniform, it's another history to say. General Conference states a kind of uniform for each for each, no, no, for the, for the, for the, as a global, that we have to have um, a, a scarf, we have a, a shirt, we have a pant or trousers, then a scarf. Now, and also the sash, and uh, the, the work on or the holder, and, but the general conference cannot have tuition to the divisions 
in order to have your, the uniforms. The general conference is telling us you must, you don't have to have, use t-shirt, it's shirt. You don't have to use a uh, short, you have to use a uh, pants. You don't, that's the white states. But each division puts the color to the uniform. Sometimes they say, okay, let's do, do as the color what general conference is telling us, we do it. Some others say, no, let us be unique, this, this union will be like that. You will see that's the difference. That, that one division has a different, a different um, uniform in the colors, another division different, that is the beauty. But we are still having as a uniform for all the scarf. You cannot change the color because this one has a meaning and it has in the, the emblem is behind and has the colors has been established by the general conference. The, the, the color of the teacher you can change, adding gloves, adding other hats, you can change, but the principles you cannot change. And this year, the North America Division Pathfinder uniform has been revised. They have their own, but it has been revised so they can uniform the whole world. This is another one, 1985. First, uh, North America Division Pathfinder Campori. When was the first Campori in the world? Or, I mean, the North America Division was the creator. Can you forget that one? 1985. Maybe you can select the, the, the birth of your friends, the birth of the mommy, daddy, someone. 1985. You will see that's the first Campori has been done there. 1995. Ten years later, what happened? Teen Leaders Train TLT program established the training in high school students, the grade of 9, 12. First Pathfinder website established 1998. I think now that one is relevant because everything now is online. We have in a new era, and this is important. In the past, there was a nobody mind, oh, what website? Ah. But now, I think they are going to ask, first Pathfinder website established 1998. If you Google it, you will find many things about Pathfindering. You will, do, you will go to the, the general conference AY training, are, are there now. First, North America Division Master Gate Convention. I wish, that's my dream, we can have a master guide convention here in Rwanda, in Kigali. That is my dream. Why? Because I have met master guides, especially those who come from other provinces. They train in the way they think they should train master guides. They train in the way they should think, train adventurers and pathfinders. Or sometimes they don't train them. <laughs> They just bring them and they sing songs, marching and finish. If you will see all these things, to train adventurers is different to train pathfinders. And to train pathfinders, each class is different. And also to train in each class, and a progressive class, an advanced class, it's different. Sometimes we don't know the difference and we just train them. Let's go, let's march, okay, now let's sing a song. Now let's memorize this verse. To train a pathfinder, it is something only God can give you the, 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 the courage to do so. That I'm happy, I'm glad that you are here to be trained and to become a master guide. Let's go to the next one. 1999, what happened? Pathfinder website was established and discovered the power international company in Hosko, I want to ask something very important. Whoever is here, you are four. Have you attended a campori? A campori. Where was that, a campori? In Gabon. You attended a campori. Yes. For the, the one organized in 2018 in Ivory Coast. Yeah. You are coming from... Uh, you are from? I'm Togolese. I came from Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. Oh, Cote d'Ivoire. I'm Gabonese. I'm coming from Gabon. Gabon. You are going to be here in Rwanda? Yeah. <laughs> what about you? You are Rwandese? Ah, that, I'm, I'm so happy. Do you, why, why I'm so happy? Because in, in Auka Church, when we train Master Gate, all of them, they live. Because the only one who are interested to be trained are from Kenya, from Uganda, foreigners from Lesotho, from the other parts, what's this one? Um, near to Ivory Coast, there is another country, they come a lot, Chad and that. So, they come for trainings, they become, they help very well. 
but so and then they, they don't. I, whenever I see a ruin, I'm so happy, so they can transmit. I, I, in this year, I have invested only three master gates. How many years I'm here? Since the, I formed the club in uh, 2000, uh, 2017, I formed the club at Auca. But so far, I only invested three Master Gate Rwandans. Only three. I have invested more than uh, six, seven, eight Master Gates, maybe. A part of them. Then the rest, no, now I'm, I have like a 20 Master Gates training. But most of them, they are from Angola, they are from Lesotho, they are from other parts of, of Africa, but they are not. I have only three. Two girls and one boy who, who are doing this. And I'm, but I'm so happy. I will not leave you. You will be invested. I'm following follow up to you. So you don't attend any campori yet. Be, why? Because whenever you attend camporis, is the time when you realize I must do, I must go, and I must follow what I have learned. Camporis it opens the eye for my child. It opens the eye for the young people. It opens the eyes for those who are being trained as a master guide. It opens their eyes. I hope we are keeping time. I don't know if it's okay. We, we start a little bit late. <laughs> so let's go. Let's continue. 2000 and, um, I'm going to go back after when I finish this one. I will, I will, I, I'm going to enter. Whatever I'm doing right now is to that point. But let me finish, then I will tell you. And you will see what has happened here in Rwanda. And you will see what's happening in the world. Let's go. Uh, 2000, uniform has changed from the forest green, shard. All these things, as I explained it to you, it's according for a division says. North America Division has their own way to do it. South America Division, where I belong, we have their own way. Africa has their own way. East Africa, Central Africa, I don't know. The, the West, uh, West Africa has their own way, maybe. Asia, Europe, so it has their own way. Now, 2001, but final Honor's Handbook was revised. As a, pathfind, as, a, as a leader of, uh, or as a master guys, you should know there are two kinds of training. Hello? Two kinds of training. You will not forget. Sometimes I just forget to say it, but there are two kinds of training. Training number one, training number one, it is the normal books what we do for friend, companion, explorer, up to guide. We, we learn almost the same. Whenever, whatever we train to the children, from those age, we learn the same. We call that one is a progressive class and advanced class. That's what we do. All, as the pathfinders learn, also you learn. Or first one you have learned, then you learn. Because you are training, you are uh, candidates, you, you learn as, as like a pathfinder, but in a crash program. <laughs> That's the way. And the other one is the advanced Right? Insane. The, the progressive and advanced, that is the normal way in the curriculum. But the other way you train, it is honors. Honors. Where is my hash? Is here. My hash is here. This one are the honors. You have seen it. I'm sure you, maybe you have even more, many of them. The honor is the way you train and, and be a specialist in different areas. If you are a specialist, for example, in nature, I'm a specialist in this area, camping. I should remove these three, the ones you see camping, like it has a tent. I should remove the four of them. I should have the master in camping. I should remove them right now. I should remove them right, and somebody could give me one owner. It, it represents three of them, and it says master in camping. That's the only master I have. If I do others, like a, a, a plant aromatic or something like that, you become a master. That is a, a special training you receive. Also, pathfinders, they do as the class progress. Friends, they do company skill one. Companion, company skill two. Explorer, company skill three. Ranger, company skill So on. So when they reach a guide, they should have the master. Also, you should have. 
Anyway, but the owners, it's progressive. Sometimes some owners take three months, four months, some other six months. Even some owners take one year to do. And I have seen people, they just put so many owners and say, wow, this guy must serve 100 years to the church. Because to get one, for me, it was tough. I started to do this one since 1999, 2000. Slowly by slowly, maybe two or three owners per year. Yeah, it's not easy. So, Pathfinder, let's move on. Now, any question up to now? I give you just a rough way how the AY ministry has started, has been introduced slowly by slowly to the church. But you will not forget the year 1979. What's the year the AY has born? As from the, those missionary voluntaries to AY, Adventist youth, officially up to now what we are carrying on. That's, that's the, 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 that question, it will be for the exam. It will enter to the exam, 1979. So, if you have any question, I don't know what time is it now. We can review a little bit. It's 10. It's 11. Okay, I was expecting to finish at 11 after the first part. I just make it shorter because of what happened to set up everything. Now, this is the part I want you to, to be focused and to, to, to see what we are going to do. I have, a, I have another book. I said another book. I will pass you online. I'm, I'm sure you may have it. You know, you can download it. You have this one. If you don't have it, I will leave this one to the leaders. So this is a book. I'm talking upside down. This is the book where I have read. I have read like a two books like this. But this is the one who is, I, I believe, whoever wrote this one, it's more certain than any other books they have. I read only two. There are many books, the history of AY. They have written their own way. As I told you, depends where you come from, you read your own story. I will tell you my story later. If you are from Rwanda, you will hear, oh, I have seen that... They are someday, they form a club. Here they form another club. There they form another club. And I think there was the first in Beshadan. Maybe a bilingual church was been, they were straining. You will have your own story. So the person who wrote this one, in the beginning, was 1920, pre-1920. I, I, I forgot the author here. It's, you will, um, it was there, the, the, it's not printed, the, the author. But that book I found very, very interesting to read. If you have time, you can, so it has 97 pages only. But you can read it slowly by slowly, and it's so, so interesting. So how everything began, all the numbers I have shown you, there are even more numbers, even how happened this time, when the book has introduced, when, when the, they will start printing the first uh, book of, for friend, when the, the first book of companion, why they named companion, it is there. In the beginning, what happened in the beginning? Let's talk about the young leaders. This is before the, the, before the, um, uh, the great disappointment. This is before the great disappointment. There were those leaders. They were not even listened to them. Do you remember, you, you know the by story, whenever uh, Elena G.D. Wari was having the visions, she, they, they thought she was crazy. They thought, no, what she's talking about. Whenever you want to do, let me tell you something. Uh, if they are recording me, I will, I will have to tell you this one. When we wanted to start, how can we start? I want to start a club there at Auka. I was working for six years in Kenya. We established a club, very nice club there for in, in the Baraton University. Master Gates, Adventure, Pathfinder, Iga Viva in those times. So, when we wanted to start something there, since the AY and the path, uh, Pathfinders, and the, they were not very closer. It was difficult to, in, how can we introduce? And we talk with my wife and we talk to the leaders, other leaders. Say, no, here is difficult. Mostly we do campaigns, we do these activities. Children, there were very few children. Now we have more than 300 children there. More than 300 children. Very few children, only those from the lecturers were coming. Few. What can we do? How can we start? We were thinking with my wife. Then one day we sat. Here, to establish a club will be difficult. 
because they don't know yet the emblems. They don't know even the scarf because whenever there was a white, one or two with the scarf. When I used to ask, why you come? No, because they asked me to put the scarf <laughs> or something like that. Ah, I was being trained long ago and I have the scarf. But they were not a club. I, because I have seen the scarves, I said, which club are you attending? No, because he said, why we put the scarves? And whenever I hear that, I got sad. There is no club? No. You don't attend any club, maybe somewhere, any other club? No. But why are you having the scarves? It's because it's AY. I was so disappointed. Because it's AY, you put the scarf, and there is nothing else. <laughs> you put the scarf because it's AY, yes, and also because you are in train. You are, you are a training or you are a leader of adventurers or master gates or, or pathfinders or any. Therefore, whenever they are started, let me tell you my, my brief story. We ask my wife and say it. Let us do vacation Bible school. They will get it. There is no uniform. They don't require anything. No scarves, nothing. Let us do vacation Bible school. We did in um, 2016 vacation Bible school with we were more than 200 children there, 50 at the beginning, but we end up with 200 even from the community they came. Beautiful, wonderful, a beautiful vacation Bible school. We got leaders, we get to know leaders. This is a potential leader, this is a potential leader. We start looking, then we see children, then we start establishing the Pathfinder Club. Slowly, not Pathfinder, Adventure Club, because my children were small. I didn't have many dealers. We established, we, after Saturday afternoon, everybody went to sleep. Are we together? In there, in the club, in the church, everybody went to sleep. Today, the homes, nothing, no activities. I say, what? Normally, we used to do AY activities or youth, youth activities in the afternoon. So now here, everybody goes to sleep. So what can we do? Let us to do this small club. Adventure, children will want. We talk to the parents. Welcome, brother. We talk to the parents. Can you bring your child? Let us to me. Let us gather. And we used to gather with them. So we established what we call the first meeting of young children. There was no name of the club even that time. We just gather, we gather, we learn a little bit of drilling, we learn a little bit how to tie a knot, how to do something, small children. Slowly by slowly, other parents were interested, they brought, they brought. End of the year came, some leaders from Kenya came, a trainee of Master Gate came, I want to be a master, but I want to train children. Let's do. And the, 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 the son of that mom was in the age of Pathfinder. He says, I want to be a Pathfinder. I want to make a Pathfinder here. Let's make a Pathfinder. I was hesitant because to, to make a Pathfinder club needs a lot of dedication, needs leaders, needs time. But I haven't seen much committed people. I, my thinking was, let me go with my children, adventurers. As they grow, they will become pathfinders. There may be others they can join, and we can train, and adventurers should they continue. That one was in my mind. But that year, 2017, that lady came and says, I'm going to help you. Wow, I said, this is a blessing. And we are, there are even some children here. I know they are in the age of pathfinder. Let's make it. And I said, wow, let's make it. And we established the Pathfinder, officially, the Pathfinder Club and Adventurer Club. And we found the Aoka Club that very moment. So that's my story, in brief. Now, these guys, you see, young leaders, the courage leaders and dedication show by the leaders, such a who? James, such a who? Elena, let me call like that. Elena, I will not call. Elena. And the, the husband, what's the name of the husband? James. And what about this other guy? Somebody know this name? It's John. <laughs> James, John, and what? This is James. This is John. And this is what? Andrew. This is Andrew. Anyway, so this is the family. So anyway, all these pioneers, they... They were young when, when, they, when they were in the, in, in the, in the church there. When they were, the, that's movement of millerists. You know millerist movement? Whenever they, before the great, great, the great disappointment came, they say, now Jesus is going to come. And the, before that, 1884, they were, 10, 10 years ago, people were coming crazy, selling houses, just reading the Bible, bringing other people from outside. It was crazy, those years. I read a book which make me, really make me think about Illustrating my mind how those years were. When they started, when Miller saw the first time, the first time Jesus is going to come, 1844. 
I was so, even October, which day October? 21st October, 22nd October, uh, 21st October in the evening, 22nd year, no, but it's not yet, 6 a.m. yet. When I read what happened those times, I was amazed, even my, my body was, was so terrible. When I read this story, I said, ah, this is where I belong. Now, these guys, they started, young ones, not the, the AY, but started that young people can also lead to the church. Because of these ones, the AY, not so only AY, the ICA church was being formed. Also, there were other older ones. You see them old, you see them all there because in those times there were not the pictures. The pictures only came after 1844. Black and white even pictures. That's why you, you don't, you, we don't have the earlier pictures of these ones. We don't have it. Somebody illustrates, they're trying to draw. But this one are official pictures when the camera were, were already settled on those years. But they were already big guns, big guys and old. And that's why the picture, you see them. What about this guy? This name you will never going to forget. Why? In 1879, that is 100 years. You remember? 1979, from, a, from the MB to AY. That one, you not forget. Now, 1879, 100 years, what's going to happen? So I'm giving you a clue, right? 1979, now 1879. What happened this year? Luther Warren. 14 years old, was part of the team that organized the very first society in the church that dedicated itself to reaching the spiritual needs of the fellow young people. His entire life was dedicated to working with... Now, his entire life is not saying when he was old, when he was mature, or when he was... No, his entire life he has dedicated to do what? Working with the young people, or with the young in the church. Although never was elected, never was elected as a leader, was not elected as a AY director or master guy or any other thing else on those times. No, we're not master guys, but was not elected any. He has was working, his dedication. That's why he's in the history of the, as a pioneer of the youth. He was not crowned as a director. You don't have to be director. Even you don't have to be a, a master guys to, to work for the children. You, are, you, are, you want to be master guys because you have to get a proper training to train those children. I know, but look at these ones. He was, he was in many ways the first leader of the church youth. In many ways. This, this is the real picture. And this is what they have drawn. This is normally you will see in the, in the books. You even in the book I, I will going to give you, it's there. This is the, the picture you see. But this is the real picture. I try to find it. So, another one. Biography of the World Pathfinder Leaders. That, that, this, this is a name, please don't forget it. Huh? This is also in the exam. 1879, Luther Warren. So, that one. Luther Warren, you never forget it. And what he has done, he was a leader. So that would not forget. It's an exam. If I give you an exam, I will put this one. If it's for me, I will put this one. Now, next. Another one. Who is this name? I'm sure you have heard this name many times. But finder should know this name. Master Gate should know this name. All Master Gate should know this. What's his name? Lawrence Skinner. He was the first, what? Let's read it here. Lawrence Skinner was the transition leader between being the world junior youth director and being the world pathfinder director. He was the first pathfinder director in the whole world. Are we together? So that one will not forget it, right? His name, Lawrence Skinner, or Skinner, sometimes they just put Skinner. He was the first. So why the first? Because he was a leader of what? W... Uh, J-Y-D. He was the J-Y. Whenever there was the name Junior Youth Director, or what was the name? Junior Youth Missionaries. He was the director of that this year. But now, he became the director of the 
Pathfinder, World Pathfinder Director. From 1946 to which year? 1950. And he was the, this one, WJYD, from 1950. On the, uh, uh, and, and he was the WPD leader up to this, from this year and, and so on. He was born on September 11, 1905, in Montreal, Canada. Imagine, that's the, the day he was born. Now he died on July 10, 2002. Some, some leaders, they used to ask the day of born and the day of death of the, of the Pathfinder leader. So it, by the way, is there. Just in case, if you don't find that, that is there. So you will find it in the, in the big book. This is the book which has those things. Huh? So you will find it there. But that's what we have to know. Some leaders are very specific. Some others, they like to know this, who, who was the Pathfinder, the world first world Pathfinder leader. Yeah, you say the name. But sometimes even they ask when he was born, when he passed away, where he was born. Sometimes they are very strict. They wanted them to know very well this. It's very difficult to remember, but what you know, you should know, or we should know as a master gate is Lawrence or Skinner. Next one. This guy, you will remember, he had the same picture there. This is, these times they were good pictures, so they are these pictures. John Hancock. I, this is the guy who wrote this book, by the way. So that's why he's reliable. <laughs> he's the one who wrote this book. I was forgetting his name. John Hancock. He's the one who was who? Look right here. Second World Pathfinder Director. If they will ask you who was the first one, you know already, Skinner. Who was the second one? Hancock. So that's what has to be in your records. Where the John Hancock designed most of uh, the new Pathfinder owners. He designed these owners that we see. He's the one who designed it, most of them. He's the one who did it, then even he put it the name of each of them that we are carrying on. He's the one who designed the honors of that. He's, he was the, path, the, the world pathfinder uh, director. He's the one who decided all of them. Uh, since 1963 to 1970, and as the world, he was the all youth director, he became now the, the world youth director. I think this is the third world youth director, right? He's, he became the world youth director in 1970s to 1980, 10 years. Then in 1980, Elder Hancock designed the new Adventist youth emblem. Who has designed the new Adventist emblem? Which are the emblems? Adventist youth emblem. Which is the youth emblem? The emblem. Yes, that one. It is the logo of AY. I don't have it here. I will show you later. Of the, it's, a, it's a wall. It's the wall. The images of the three angels there, right? That is the, that is the and it says AY. Some they put JA. That's a Janice uh, Adventist. As we say, Jovenes Adventistas. That's in my language. So, Yes, they changed that one, but he's the one who designed that one. If ever you know, he's the one because he was, he's, he liked it to, I don't know, maybe he has very good skills to design things. He designed it most of all these honors emblems. He designed it, especially the Adventist youth emblem. That's what he designed. If you know that one, he's the one. I'm highlighting this one because that one also the exam, right? Who designed the all? He, when he born was this year. And do you think he's still alive? <laughs> when he born, 1970, he's still alive. It could be like 107 years, right? Yeah, no, he's, not, he's not alive. I don't have when he passed away. <laughs> I don't have the date. Now, this is according to my story what I want to do. There are many others. They were In this book, you will find seven of them who were very pioneers from the, from the Pathfinders and the Master Guides. But this one, I, I, I put this one because it, it symbolizes what I am. <laughs> why, why I'm telling you this one? Because it's very interesting, his history. You will find there, but let me tell you, I have read his history. This guy was not Adventist. He was not Adventist. He just went to study to Brazil. 
he learned the Portuguese, and he studied in Brazil. He went to the college. He went to Adventist college. So he was there, and he was seeing the need, and he has learned something. The need of oh, these young people, they need training. They need to learn more. What can I do? He baptized, and he started becoming a youth leader by nature, leading here, leading there. Since he had baptized, has been recognized to be a good leader. And even the, because he was in there finishing the, the, the college, he, he was not even finishing the college. He, wa he wanted to appoint them to be a leader from some district without even finishing the, the, the university. He wanted to appoint because he was a very good leader. Now you'll be in charge. You will be the leader from this other church. Let's go to that conference, something like that. And he says, yeah, he accepted. But the parents, they told him, no, no, no. First one, finish. If you don't want to finish your college very well. And he went back to the U.S. He finished his college. And he did the same there for the young people. But later on, he has been called again for the same place. He was being appointed before he was graduated. He was being called, please help us. And without hesitant, he has already with degree. He finished everything. The parents will not tell him anything to do. He went back to Brazil. And he's the one there. Now, let's do now. Youth Ministry Director for the uh, Paraná Santa Catarina. That's the name of the place he was being called. He was the Youth Director, Ministry Director. From there, he was called to the South Brazil Union. And in 1970s, when still 36 years old, was invited to the General Conference. Very young, 36 years old, was already invited. Was very, very well known. He was invited to, to the General Conference to the youth department as a third world pathfinder director. Are we together? Who was the third world pathfinder director? What's his name? Leo. Yeah, you guys call Leo. You can memorize the Ransoling, but Leo, he was the first, the third world pathfinder director. You know already the first one? The second one? Hancock, Skinner, Lawrence, that one. Then, this is the guy. Leo is the third one. Okay, this is the, the, the... Why I'm emphasizing on him? So far, I haven't been in Asia, but I know they have very good, very good things. I have been in the U.S. I haven't been in Europe, how the, the pathfinders will be. I don't know. I have been in Africa, not in all the countries, but I have been how they manage. I told you, I'm 16 years in Africa. I attended Camporis in Kenya. I attended Camporis in Kisumu, all those things. Now, this gentleman, he formed a very great foundation in Brazil. In the history there, it's, lo it's long, you will see, he formed leaders in Brazil. What now Brazil it is? For me, for me, so far, the best clubs, master gates, pathfinders, organization is in Brazil. So far. Anybody can say many things, but so far, why? Because those guys can manage 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 people, Campori, Pathfinders. They can manage. They have their own stadium. They have very, very large land where they can manage 50,000 Pathfinders, 100,000 Pathfinders. We're not talking about little. And yes, pathfinders, how many leaders you need? How many staff you need? How many support staff you need? So they are able to manage those. And they do very well. And I have many things I will share with you later from there. So that's what it happened. Now, his, his, his thoughts, his thinkings in Brazil was really deep. And let me tell you something. There is a city... There is a shopping that you can find all the emblems, all these things there. Like, a, like a, you go to Simba, you find everything. It's there in Brazil. But obviously, you have to come with a letter and to buy things, what it's like, owner, all those things. Or if something to sell, like a, a scarf for Pathfinder, but this kind of a scarf, no. There are things you can buy, it, but things you cannot buy it unless you have a letter because you have to get training before. To, but they are there. In the metal, you can you can be impressed what these guys they do in Brazil. That so much advanced, more than US, far, 
by far, if I, if I was recording me, I'm telling you by far, because I have been there. Normally they ask to Brazil, they ask to Peru, they ask to Bolivia, my country, to, to, to get some things from the from US as well. But these guys, they are so, so advanced, so, so advanced. So, let's go next one. But this is just a pictures. Now from there is just a pictures. The one thing I want you to know, these three. Do not forget it. Lawrence Skinner, Jonah Hancock, and Leah, Leo, 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 Dan Solin, right? Now, Pathfinder past and present. Pathfinder past and present. Let's go to another section. We are still having time, right? We are still having time. I want to be a little bit interact. But before I move on for this one, I will request something from you. On your feet. <laughs> I, 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 I'm in training, commanding, so. Attention. At ease. Attention. 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 Yes. At ease. So, attention, <laughs> yes, this guy is trained, at ease, perfect. So, there are many things that I like from Mastergate and for Pathfinders and Adventurers, but one thing, I really love it, and that's why I'm still here. I started these things in 1999. Then from there, I have never been separated from this. I have learned something that my, my leader, he passed away in COVID, Jose Cruz. I, I always carry in my heart. He's the one who gave me the discount. He invested me. He told me something. Valentin, there will be times that you will not be able to lead or you will have other, maybe you want to study, you will have other activities. Please, the time when you are not able to manage the club and you want to rest for a while, it's good, it's okay. But what you have to do, surrender your scarf and give it to your immediate leader. And when you come back, if it's less than a year, you take it back because you have asked permission. If it's more than a year, you receive the same training to get your scarf. That's the way you should tell me. Thank you so much. Have a seat. So, I don't know whether that one will continue, but that's what I have learned. That's what I teach also those guys from Auka. Because sometimes they come, they disappear. They come, so you can. It's better. I told them, if you want to come to Mastergate, to become a Mastergate, and to train these children, so you have to know that this is not just yes for a while. Then you go and you forget it. The time when you will be apart from here, you surrender. Because you have many other things to do. You have to recover later. But if you are going to leave it without surrendering, you are already quit. Now, when I tell them, this is lifetime activity. If you are not going to be involved 100% in pathfinding, adventuring, and master guide, it's better to quit. I told them like that. Many, even, I, I, let me tell you, even sometimes maybe they have hard feelings with me because I ask them to quit. I ask them, you can't manage. Why? We have meeting afternoons. You don't have class, you don't have anything. Now you are going with your friends out. Now you, have, you are going to the choir. Now you have another activities there. It is better for, if you like choirs, go to your choirs, go and train, but don't break down your time. You are coming, the meetings are three, they start coming 4.30, I'm here. No, we don't need you that time. We start the club at three o'clock and we finish by 5.30, then we have our own meeting. If you are not able to manage it, I understand once because you are sick. And I understand too because you have an activity. I have, a, but all the time cannot have. So I ask them, please quit. You can't manage. I ask them politely. If they don't answer it, I just remove it from the list and finish it. That's what I do. It is hard for me, but it's that. I, I am more tolerant for others, but I understand them because they are parents. But those who are young and they are studying there, I know them as well very well. I know who is committed. Now, look at this one. The first club in South America. I'm talking a little bit for South America. This is uh, Conquistadores is the name of Pathfinders. <laughs> Conquistadores means to conquer. 
Pathfinder, it means to get away, right? But this is the one with conquer. But that's the name, the, the closer name they put it as a Pathfinder, Conquistadores. You find the way to reach somewhere. That's when it means Conquistadores. The first club, the first Pathfinder in South America was in Peru. Strong one. A strong one. You see, they should be in Brazil. Why not there? Why not in Brazil? It's a long story. <laughs> because Peru was one union together. They were just separated with Brazil. Something like that. It's a long story. But it's the first one. Now, first Pathfinder Campori in 1953. The first Pathfinder Campori in 1950. This is the first, maybe in the exam will be there. When was the year of the first Pathfinder Campori? 19. 53. That's on the first fight finder Campori. I don't know where it was. It's, it's in US, but exactly I don't know. Here in the book is written maybe exactly where it was. The first Pathfinder finder Campori. There is a picture there to see it was the Pathfinder finder Campori. The way we used to do it for, for inauguration of the Pathfinder, even from this is from America. Even I went, I, I was doing in Kenya and I used to do in, in, in Bolivia, is to bring a, an axe. There is a lot a lob of uh, wood there, and you just hit it, and it said everybody claps, it has inaugurated the Campori. That's the way. I wanted to do the same here in, in the inauguration for the, for the club. Uh, the pastor called me, doctor, doctor, come. You can't enter to the church with the axe. <laughs> because you have to know the culture as well. You can't do things just because I'm coming from South America, I'm coming from America, I'm coming from this country, or I'm coming from Kenya, or I'm coming from any part of You can't come to a new country and to do what you want to do. First of all, you learn what they are doing. You don't criticize what they are doing wrong. I have seen a lot of leaders. I will not tell you from where because they know where I'm talking. I have seen a lot of leaders in Auka. They are coming not from Rwanda. They are coming from outside to study. But they are doing wrong. How can you do like that? How this one happened? No, they are not doing. I, I said, cool down, cool down, wait. They are master gates. Yes, I have seen they are very well trained. They have a lot of knowledge. But the problem is they don't know how to mingle with the people. First of you learn the culture. How is in Rwanda here? At the first one, I told you, I got disappointed. But the, at the end, I understood. I know why they have to do like that. I know it has to be slow. I knew now why they refused for me the first time to make a club there. I knew because I learned the culture. I know what in the past has happened. I know what happened with the children there. I know what the young people had happened. I know very well now. I cannot tell to everybody, but I know. Then I understand. I say, now, oh, wow, that's that's way. And I'm glad I have learned in this way. So... You can't come to another one and just start it the way. You learn, you mingle, and you see what is the need as Jesus did it. You know, Jesus was, Jesus did it. First one, they understand, they mingle with the people, then they start giving what they need. Right? So that's the way as a master get the same way you done. Just make, okay, this is new, new church. Okay, let's make a club. Come, you, you come, <laughs> giving orders. Because Master Gate, like we like to give orders. But we give orders only our fellow, not to the church, not to the members, because they don't know. Are we together? Sometimes as a Master Gate, we just give orders. If you see a Master yeah, go, go, go. You start giving orders like a, like a general on the street. That's what I hate it. <laughs> I personally, I dislike it, those things. When there is a Master Gate, they start giving orders. No, you have you be humble. As much as you learn, as much as you have this, as much as you are great, this other side, you are more humble. Are we together? You are master, you have to be more humble. Let's go. Next. This is the oldest picture of Rwanda has been put in this book. Who wrote this book? Hancock, right? So he put in his book Rwanda. Imagine, I don't know from where, who is this person, how was it, maybe we can use inter intelligent uh, what is it? AI, artificial intelligence to find who is this person? And we can look at when this picture was, was taken. But this is Rwanda. It's in his book. Imagine. He came and you see, do you see Pathfinders here? No, right? They, they consider clubs or they consider Master Gate as the only label. They were considered like that. Pathfinder and adventurers, they're coming later. 
They were not, they were not yet considered. That's what they know. Here in Rwanda, it's very well known master gates. But finance and master gate, yeah, they are, it's coming. But in the past, how they started first one to train master gate, which was okay, which was true. You, how are you going to train little ones without not training much? But the, the, not the problem, but the way I have seen, they emphasize more to train master gates then at the end they have forgotten adventurers at pathfinders. When they have trained, oh, also we have to train adventurers at pathfinders. Uh, that's the way it has been done. It's the same happened in, in, in Auka. If that's, if when I ask other leaders, other master gates who has been trained in the villages, in Musanze, the other one in Rubab, I have I have no very good master gates, but they only do for master gates. And pathfinders and adventurers, if there is time, if somebody do, they do a little bit drilling, all those things, no, not as a class, not as a teachers. That's why, that's what I have seen here, and I realize only, you don't, you can't see a picture of a pathfinder here or something like that. Yes, a master guide. Now, this picture was there. I, I, I wish I could have removed this one, but anyway. This is me. Pathfinder, okay. I wish I could have removed, but anyway, let's leave it there. This is me with the current Pathfinder, World Pathfinder Director, Peralta. July 2023 in Santa Cruz, Bolivia, National Campori, we attended 12,000 Pathfinders and 3,000 Master Gates there. I went there last year. I spent my holiday there. It was for a week, but I was there. So I can't miss those things. If there is some, some companies, I have to go because I wanted to take my kids, but unfortunately, we couldn't manage. But we promised to go in the, in the company of Brazil. It will be after next year. So let's move on. This is me. I cannot see very well, but this is me. This is Mission Boliviana, Mission Boliviana del Oriente Nacional. So that is the name of the, the club. I was going, this, I was born in that club, so I was just going there to visit my friends and to be part of the, the, the yes, they do competitions. When there is a campory, there is a competition between which club has done well, has fulfilled the requirements. The same things that they have fulfilled in the friend, companion, explorer, voyager, ranger, up to guide classes, the same activities you do, but in the practical. That's what the idea of campory is. Campory is not yet to enjoyment, to stay ha, 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 with the friends, no. Campory is to put in practical what you have learned. Physical and spiritual activities. That's what you do in Camporis. I was one of the judges as well when I went there. Behind there is a stadium. They build it also a stadium. In the own stadium in my country. We build the own stadium there with, because you can't albergate 12,000 children just sit there. So you have to make the stadium. So they make a stadium. They are still building more, more, more. They are progressing. When I left, when I left my country, like uh, more than, I left the 2008, was the camp already 2008. I left my country that year. There were no more than 70 clubs in the whole country, but there are more than 300 clubs now. How, you see how much has progressed in this year? More. This is my, my brother-in-law. He was my pathfinder, young one, but now he's a leader, master again. He was leading the young ones. He's my brother-in-law. I met him when he was very young. He's married. He has children now. He's, this is another friend. He's my old friend. He was with me. We invested together. This girl was behind here. And the pathfinders are behind. There's not good quality of pictures. Also here, there was how they, they did the, the portal and the, the, the buildings, what they do for. This is just one club. <laughs> this, is not a, this is just one club. How many clubs there were there? More than 300 clubs. There are many. We couldn't visit all of them. It was so big. You can't visit it. So many people. So this is, uh, this is Auka Club, which started 2016 with Adventurers. I'm there. How many there are there? There are many, right? Leaders, they were there. There were about 20 or 25, something. But the leaders, there were many those times. They were mom, the, the parents. Normally for Adventurers, we involve the, the parents. It must. It can't be like that. You can't teach the parents must be involved. Otherwise, no. Pathfinders, you teach them alone, alone. But this one, you train pathfinders, you train, you train teachers, you train parents as well, as a teachers. This is our first camp in 2017, on July, and Masoro. 
That was first camping. We were like uh, 25 pathfinders, maybe. This, these tents, we got it from, from Congo. There was no here. In those years, 2017, 2016, we wanted to buy here. It's too expensive, 300, 400,000, and not good quality. And there was a friend from Congo who was a son of a pastor when I was working in Kenya. He says, he was also in Masoro sometimes. I asked, are you in Congo? Yes. Can you find how much is there? He was in Kinshasa. Yes, he told me, this amount we have. We get send him money, and he brought personally these tents for us, for our first company. He, he, brought, he bought it. Yes, for this event, he came in the morning, he left it, and he went back to Congo. I really admire that guy. He's an IT. He's a son of a, a pastor who I love very, very much. He's in Kenya right now. He's a currently, he was a professor then. The first company. Uh, this, now, uh, after 2017, we have done many activities. Even with my club, 20, let me tell you, 20, I don't have the picture. I wanted to put 20, 20. 2020, 2021, after, after COVID. We couldn't stay home, even we did virtual programs. What can we do? We said, we take the advantage. We called to, to, the, to the government here, says, can we go to a camping? Something like that, 2021? Yes, of course. But they have to get COVID tests, ABCD. You can't go because the parks from Rwanda, they were closed and they didn't have incomes and they were dying. They were, they were not having incomes. So you can come. How many you are? Please come. Even they were reduced. That time when I, I, I got the chance to, to see the gorillas because the price reduced very, very low. So I went to see the gorillas there. But just in that time, I said, why we not know to Akagera? And we went with the Pathfinders to Akagera and we camped there. There is camp inside Akagera, you see? I, they are there. And we went there. The parents, they were so scared. But we went. We went face masks, with all the cares. We went to camp to Akagera. It was a wonderful experience. Now, this is a campori. Now I call you campori. But this one was among only pathfinders in Auka. Although, I have to tell you if it's recording, I invited many churches, other clubs, invited bilingual church. I invite Kigali English Church. I invited to um, Muhima Church. I invited Kachiru Church, other clubs to join us in a campori to the pathfinders. And I haven't received any feedback from them. Many of them, they told me they can't, they were some. I said, it's okay. And as we made our own, we built our own thing, and we have a wonderful moment, more than 40 pathfinders, more than 30 leaders who were there. And that we make a campori. We compete, not with other clubs. We, can put, we competed between units. Unit one, unit two, unit ah, it was a wonderful experience. Even it rained very badly in our tents. I, know, I don't know what time, it was not time of raining. It was last year, August, at Rusororo. You know, um, this is school there in Rusororo calls Apair, a Apair. A it's a school in Apair. You know Apair school in Rusororo? Yes, there, we did there. Besides that, they have a, a land that we borrow the land and they, we build there. And they are the one who give us uh, food. Ah, it was wonderful. Behind there was the tent, big tent, another tent besides. So we hired the tents. So what is the... We spend five days. One day to build, another day to recover. <laughs> so we spend five days. Three days, just activities. Now, I give, I don't know, even Evariste knew very well. I gave him the, 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 the what do you call this, the call for a campory. Yeah, very nice. I will, even I can pass you now. So... The finality, I don't know which this picture is, not okay. But the, 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 the goal, the finality of all these things that we are doing, the main purpose is to carry to the young people to the feet of Jesus. This is the picture where a pathfinder is getting baptized. So far in Masoro, I have, we have baptized, I can say I have, we have baptized more than 15 pathfinders. More than 15 pathfinders with the uniform. Even in the last campori, Pastor Jerome, he was retired now. He, yesterday we had a function in, in, in Auca there. He baptized three pathfinders in the last campori. In this campori, we baptized three pathfinders. We borrow from, I don't know from where they came. We borrow the, 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 the pool for baptismal pool. They brought it. They came in the morning. They arrived at almost 2 or 3 in the p.m. in the afternoon. So it was funny. But we borrow and we did. They in the, the, the baptismal. So it's amazing. Now, next one. 
this is uh, Pastor Leonidas baptizing in Auca. I have many other pictures, but what's the finality? I told you to, to carry to the feet of Jesus. All this training, all these histories, all these things what we are doing is just for that finality. So far, this is what in this book it is. Kampori by the division. In ECD, Central Africa, I could find just only three Kampori's. I don't know whether I, I can lie up to now how many Kampori's in East Africa has been done. Has been done Kampori in Rwanda one day? Who has been there, a Kampori? I think, I think I have done one. I have been, I heard they did a Kampori. But the Kampori so far, it's recorded in, the, in this book by Hancock, is this one. 1994, it was in Zambia. 1999, it was in Uganda. And 2003, was in uh, Kenya. And I went to a Kampori in Kenya 2000 and, um, 2010. No, 2011, I'm lying. Between 2011 and 12, I went to a camp already there. Are we good in the time? What time is it now? 11.50. Okay, we have 10 minutes more. So, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for, the, for hearing me. But I want to share with you something. I have still pictures there. Many, many, many of the friends, they asked me, what is your motivation? Apart to serve, to see. I serve the children. I love it. My first motivation when I was young is to explore, to explore the, the nature. I used to go. Then my phone in the, in the Pathfinders, I joined later to the, I was not Pathfinder, I was direct to the Master Guide. I joined to the Master Guide in like nature. I came to serve 2008, 2009 here in Africa. I, I got married 2007, but I came to serve 2008 and 9. I was here. And my goal was to, 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 to build clubs. That one was my club. And to, to do what I like to do. Then later on, 2011, I received a gift from heaven. I received a gift from heaven. So since that time, I, I promise, I did my pledge to God saying, I'm going to serve you until you give me strength and life in this earth. This one were my motivation. I got a twins, 2011, Julian and Jael. Now they are 12 years old. This is what they are. This is me, my wife, my daughter, and my son. They are twins. I was not expected to have twins and a boy and a girl. I didn't even expect it to have children because I was married in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010. You know, I waited four years, almost four years, but I waited. And I was put it in the hands of God all the time. Even sometimes I see, I have seen, my wife non, doesn't know, but I have here and seen because I wake up, my wife praying and crying, give me a child. She was crying. I, I used to say, I never told her. Maybe it's recorded now, she will know. I used to see her, but I never told her, even up to now, I never told her I used to see you. But he used to cry for the child. I remember in Kenya, I used to cry. Because others said, why are you not having Why She was crying. But 2011 came. First, the first week of January, whenever the doctor was telling her, you are expectant. She was, at that moment, when I have seen my kids for the first time, I say, wow, I, I pledge God, so I'm here to serve you. This is my life. Now this is me with my two kids there. And that one was my motivation. And this is now my second, uh, what do you call, inspiring thing happened in my life. This is my boy and my daughter getting baptized by Pastor Dr. K or now Professor Kesis in Baraton University. I went last year on September in their birthday. In their birthday, 11, 20, 20 uh, of September. I went there and I asked Pastor Kesis, and it was Sabbath, and I asked him to baptize them, and we did it. That was amazing. So that is my engine, my motivation to continue in this world. You will find your own motivation. You will see how you want to reach, where you want to reach. But when the first time I have seen it, the club, I say, I want to reach. And God has been fulfilled the desires of my heart up to now. What else should I do 
and he has to continue serving and to doing and to working in his vinegar. So, this is the way. No, this is another, this is another training. This is another, and this is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for hearing me. Thank you for the invitation for the leader of a bilingual church. But I don't want to stay here, and I want to do things that I wish not to be recorded. <laughs> I want to I want to have an interaction with you, just talking about what what it is. Thank you so much.